If you don't have a hydrangea, this summer may be the perfect time to get one. Jenny Amstutz tells you all about how to maintain the plants in this week's Nature's Corner. So if there is one thing that every landscape needs, it's a hydrangea. And if you've come into the store and you've talked to me, usually I'm like, do you have a hydrangea yet? And then I take you through them all and we find one that will work for you. There's so many hydrangeas to choose from and everybody loves them. They're summer flowering. They're great cut flowers. They're usually pretty low maintenance. The best advice I can give you for a hydrangea is putting the right plant in the right place. If you put a hydrangea in a spot and you wanna keep it three foot tall, don't put a hydrangea in there that wants to get six feet tall and think that you're gonna maintain it because then you're gonna fight the flowers and have to worry about way too much. And this should be low maintenance and you need to just go outside and enjoy your landscape and not worry about it. So I'm gonna walk you through a few of the different varieties. Now there's about four or five different varieties or types of hydrangeas. One is the hydrangea macrophylla or big leaf hydrangea are what most people know. They have the big bald flowers up on top. Now those like part sun to part shade. Personally, I like them in just morning sun and I like to give them a break in the afternoon with the shade so that way they don't get droopy on you with too much sun. And they are the varieties that typically you can change the flower color. If the soil is more acid, it will be more blue or more purple. And if it's more alkaline, it'll be more pink. And there are ways that you can play with that in the landscape. The other variety of hydrangea is a mountain hydrangea or hydrangea serrata. It is a lace cap hydrangea. I've got a few of these at home and I just adore them. It's a different type of flower. So some people will even see it and go, oh, what is that? So if you want something different, try the mountain hydrangea. Mountain hydrangeas are low maintenance. Again, just watch your sizes. Most varieties that I carry get about three to four foot. Another variety of hydrangea is the oak leaf hydrangea, and it gets its name because of the shape of the leaf. It blooms white, and some of them bloom white and fade to pink. They like shade to part sun. It's a great option to have as well. Now, for if you're at home, you're thinking, okay, Jenny, I've got full sun. What about me? Hydrangea paniculata. That is the type of hydrangea that likes full sun, and it can take full sun to part sun, but it will thrive for you, it will bloom all summer, and they're wonderful. The last one I'll talk about is the old-fashioned Annabelle hydrangea that a lot of people are familiar with. You treat those more like a perennial, so right before winter comes, you might cut them all the way down to the ground, and they come all the way back up in one season. Oftentimes they bloom with a white, or there's other varieties that might have like a lime green flower, and they're usually a big ball on top of them. So those are the different types of hydrangeas. If you have any questions or you want some help narrowing it down, come into Nature's Corner and we are happy to help.